It was just a matter of time for when the truth would come out. So when we heard that news today, it was a sense of relief that, you know, it's finally coming to the public eyes that, you know, the Indian government is involved. Yesterday, the shocking allegation that a Canadian citizen was killed on Canadian soil by a foreign government has rocked our country. People fleeing, fleeing violence and persecution have always thought of Canada as a safe place, but now that sense of safety and security has been rocked. People are afraid for their lives. So my question to the Prime Minister, for people that have received credible threats of active, of active credible threats of violence to their lives here in Canada, what is the plan to provide them with protection so they can be safe in Canada? Right, Honourable Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker, millions of Canadians can trace their roots and origins to different countries in the world, some of which uh, do not hold by the same uh, values and rules that we do. And it's important for everyone to feel safe in Canada. That's why uh, keeping Canadians safe uh, is one of our absolute top priorities, why we continue to work closely with security agencies and partners and allies around the world to ensure that the rule of law is respected uh, and citizens are kept safe. Uh, we we know there is much more work to do. We will continue to stand strong for the rule of law. For Calgary Force One. Just now asked Canadians deserve to be protected on Canadian soil. We call on the Indian government to act with utmost transparency as authorities investigate this murder because the truth must come out. We must know who performed the assassination and who was behind the assassination. It is now an important time to send a clear message as a democratic country, as a country that respects the rule of law, what will be our response? I want people to know that as leader of the New Democratic Party, I will use every tool at my disposal to ensure that Canada uses every tool every tool and every power of a democratic nation to bring those responsible to justice. We've been guided by three principles. The first one, we will seek the truth. The second one, we will protect Canadians at all times. And thirdly, we will protect Canada's sovereignty. I've conveyed these principles to my Indian counterpart. And I've also told him that we expect India's full collaboration to make sure that we get to the bottom of this. And as of today, and as a consequence, we've expelled a top Indian diplomat from Canada. <laughs>